Greg thinks that he lives a pretty normal life, and most other people would probably think so too until they get to know him. He takes showers with his clothes on. What? No. That's Wait. too much. Like. Rhino. Rob. Today, we have the world's cheapest date, Extreme Cheapskates. Oh, this is a TV show? TV show. Never seen it. Uh, I wonder where they find these people. No, like, they're not broke, they just, they're just cheap. They're just cheap. <laughs> cheap. I'd just be kind of like eyeballing my money, like, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I put my debit card in. <laughs> Didn't decline, so. There must be something on there. <laughs> I could learn something, yeah. Or no books out, here we go. Dating. Why would you take a girl out on an expensive date on the first time? I should oh. never do that. You ain't even earned the right for a fancy thing yet. We getting to know each other. We at McDonald's first and then we work up. Yeah, there the we thing. go. Get humble humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. My name's Greg Yensko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. I ain't never been to Ohio. I'm a Zumba dance instructor and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'll do a clinical study anytime I can because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this low rider. Well, you got the hydraulics. And I had to get $3,500 somehow. <laughs> Why are you the low rider? How much were the hydraulics? I'm geeked. That joint just went. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get in. <laughs> 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 you see that shit at night, you're like, oh shit, who's coming out there? This guy gets out the car? I can't get in, it's too high. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Let's run it. I got really lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt, but I got a car out of it. So he said, shove this ointment up your ass and we'll give you 3,500. So he did that to get the car. I might shove a little, pause. Ointment up your ass for a car? I might run that. And it came with a hydraulic? It's pretty fly. Ointment up the butt for a car? How long do you gotta do that for though? Like a few days. Run that up. It's just right. ointment. Does it sting? Or is there any a little, sort of... a little sensation, but nothing crazy. <laughs> a little sensation. I'll do anything to make a buck. You just use the window squeegees, and you can really wash your whole car with it. I'm not mad at him right now. Okay. I don't know if that's the best for your pain, <laughs> but. Hi, welcome to my condo. I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away if you wanna live in our condo for free. <laughs> this guy got the best luck ever. What the? Random clinical study for a car and now this. In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. This is all from when the guy passed away, he left it all here. I didn't have any furniture, it worked out nice. <laughs> so you just at the dead man's crib. And he's like proud about it. Yeah, this is where the old <laughs> dead dude used to sit. Yeah, these were his pants. He actually died in this chair last night. Yeah, these were his shoes, but they were my size, so I've been rocking them. Rest in peace, though. <laughs> Free right, though. <laughs> these are my roommates. We got Raj and Kevin here. It's painful bringing women back to the apartment because... Is that the dead guy? <laughs> what is that? Is it the urine? <laughs> They not bringing women back. It's painful bringing women back. Just stop. I know it's TLC and you're trying to cap for the camera. I don't think he's bringing women back. Well, he does work as a Zoom instructor. Do y'all want to hang out and read some magazines? Grandpa's right here too. Sorry, this looks like the worst time ever. Act normal, act normal. What, they got the filing? <laughs> <laughs> you got Raj and Kevin here. <laughs> act normal, act normal. <laughs> Look at the, the way he looks up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just go in on these guys, but we'll see. Furniture, it's everything, it's embarrassing. This place definitely smells like old people. Well then, you know, you don't have to live there, right? Fix everything. Yeah, yeah. Get, get some, some new furniture. Buy some oh, you don't have uh, money. Worry about getting money before bringing a girl back, I don't know. Maybe remove the large dead ashes to somewhere else with the family, maybe. Don't just sit there and complain. I don't know how much Greg pays for the apartment, but I do know that Kevin and I pay a pretty fair amount. It's a large three bedroom condo, so I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. Is this cheapskate or world's biggest scammer? Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, I scam my friends, but yeah. I'm on the show though. That's just hilarious. Technically speaking, if it's his place that he owns officially, Why? you're allowed to charge anybody rent. Oh, that is true. Yeah, you better pay something. Right? You're living here. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. This is the kitchen. There's no point in paying for anything that you should get for free in life. I never spend money on condiments. Anytime you go to a restaurant, just take extra when you're there. I do that. Fair. I would never pay for paper plates or any kind of plate, really. I got lucky. I got these for my uh, my nephew's birthday party. <laughs> to save money on cups, 
Um, I actually reuse yogurt cups. I got this from my grandma. This way, they're all labeled. Everybody knows whose cup's whose. Holy, whoa. I'm just thinking about him with a kid's birthday party, snatching them. Hey, sir, what are you doing? <laughs> kids trying to eat cake, there's no plate. He's at his Zumba class. Any of y'all any celebrations come up this weekend? <laughs> Bro, it's fucking gross. There's dust all in there. If we get a guest, I actually give them the big cup so uh, it makes him feel special. Thank you. I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water so I just hand wash them in the sink. There's no point in having a bulb inside a refrigerator. I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. It saves me almost $40 a year in electric. This is my closet. I always leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's gonna go out of style. So always keep the tags and you can just return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living the dream. As soon as I'm done living the dream, I just return it. Please, sir, there's shit stains on it. <laughs> sir, you got cum stains and all of his fucking shit. but check the tag. Well, that's ludicrous. There's like a 30 day return policy on most shit. It's like 90 max, if anything. <laughs> sir, we saw this 20 years ago. <laughs> they don't make these anymore. Sir. Biggest money saver in the whole condo is right here in the bathroom. Greg thinks that he lives a pretty normal life, and most other people would probably think so too until they get to know him. He takes showers with his clothes on. What? No. That's Wait. too much. Like, it has to be just for the show. Wait. Okay, they made this one up. There's no way. So you wash your clothes and your body at the same time? I'm sorry, so at what point do you get naked? You don't. But don't you gotta dry the clothes? You gotta dry the clothes, right? You air dry? Just running around. You have to stand outside for an hour every day to just dry off? By washing my clothes in the shower with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, a dryer, soap. Not this. <laughs> not the plastic bag. Protect the tag. Protect the tag. Bro, he laminated it. Oh, that's funny. Seems like a parody. Wait, something. he's putting soap on the clothes. Come on, man. It's just like he has no clothes. <laughs> He's washing himself and the clothes. I'm about to try that. When I take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week, when I'm ready to flush the toilet, I take that water and pour it directly into the toilet and that's what causes the toilet to flush. That way I'm not wasting any water. So what happens if you took like a massive shit? Let it rock in there. Close the lid so the bucket's filled. <laughs> Hopefully not open that. They ain't got no guests, so. Imagine putting 10 massive shits in there. Oh, well, that's why I look like that. <laughs> oh. There's a point to where you can't clean anymore because it's stained. I'm just proud of that, too. Wash. Mm. Look how this works. And see the 10 shits there. And flushed. I like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and uh, wasting gas, going places, meeting people. Just get online and uh, it's free. This girl's kind of hot. Uh, she likes fancy restaurants and traveling. <laughs> Next. <laughs> she likes shopping and wine tasting. <laughs> That's way too expensive. Oh, she likes camping. Oh, and she likes long walks. Long walks are free. I like this one. Hi, is Brandy there? Yeah, this is her. Hey, um, I saw your ad online actually. Um, you look kind of cute. Stop. When was this? 1997? <laughs> Where you just have your number up on the thing? Call me if you want to date. Wait, online dating was an ad? What is this? I think so, though. You like, gotta fight tooth and nail to get a number. I saw your ad. I saw your ad online, actually. I thought you were fucking hot. <laughs> you look kind of cute. How much of it do you think is like him playing up to yeah. the character? There's no way he puts the tag in the bag. Do you want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. <laughs> I'm taking Brandy to a barbecue restaurant because it's much cheaper than like a sushi place. But I'm hoping that she ate earlier so she's not as hungry. Uh, you must be Brandy? Yes. I'm Greg. Greg, nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay. okay. What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. I love it. They let you like keep the utensils and everything. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. When I first met Greg, he seemed like a nice guy, sweet. Typically, I wouldn't be asked to go on my first date at a barbecue place only because it's messy. I don't think anything wrong with taking to a barbecue. Yes, yeah, I bet. How about something to drink? Can I have a sweet tea? Sweet tea. Is sweet tea uh, free refills on that? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Free Thank refills you. and tea. Can I just get a water and a to-go cup, please? Water and a to-go cup? Yes. Alrighty. Maybe water and then some packs of sugar. I'll make my own. Not him. And is that free refills? Just a heads up. <laughs> So you're on a date right now, expect to pay something. She'll get a water. <laughs> Are you hungry right now? You're not too hungry. I was just gonna hang out here. Did you like long walks? We could get out of here. Just... Are you real hungry? Uh, I'm not 
starving or nothing. Oh, so like you want to like share a meal maybe? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Did you see the kids menu? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This is oh, okay. That's good. That's that's fucked. How are they picking these people? That's fucked up. This seems like a skit though. The camera's too close. <laughs> you wanna ask what a meal maybe? Did you see the kids menu? <laughs> I'm a cheap steaks guy, by the way. You're on the world team of date right now. He's <laughs> right there too. Uh, he was like, you wanna share a meal? Yeah. Did you see the kids menu? <laughs> Damn! Bro, this man has never had a second date, I don't think. They all leave, there's no way. They're... She's uncomfortable right now. We could get a veggie plate, that's only $5.50. Or you could get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only $2.95. I've learned that Greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. There's nothing wrong with it, it's different. Um, I'm just gonna take the pulled pork sandwich. Alright, it's pretty pulled popular. Pork sandwich for you? Here, right. It's very good. Oh, uh, is that pretty good size, the pulled pork sandwich? It's a nice portion. Uh, like big enough for two, probably? Just depends Probably. how hungry you are. You're not real hungry, right? Nah. No. You cannot be. No, no. This is not real. This is not no, this real. This is all fake. Think about it. Like, the girl had to have known that they're filming this video. Come back to the shots when they first met up. Clearly, it was like action, walk in the door. Ooh. Hey, how's it going? She didn't say, cameras? You're filming this? She knew. Call time is tomorrow. You're going to be dating cheap steak guy. <laughs> they probably fooled us with all this stuff back in the day because you don't question anything. Mm -hmm. This is the fake was, pranks of YouTube. There was limited amount of content they pushed out there, so you just believed it, yeah. That's exactly what they want, always be like, oh, how could he? There's no way he asked that. It's all fake. Also, can we get a rib? Okay, you'd like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Oh. It, the, the rack is like kind of expensive. No one else in the restaurant? It was a little weird. Here's your food. Pulled Thank pork you. sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. That looks good. Thank and you. And here's your one rib. Oh, right, thank you. Did you want to try some of those? Um, no, it's okay, it's... You sure? Yeah, it's... There's not a lot there. That's really good though. Yeah. Would well, you want some uh, macaroni? Oh yeah, actually I would love some macaroni. Good. Maybe a little bit of pork too. Yeah, well we'll just do about half then. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Oh, that would be nice, thank you. Hey, yo, yo, yo. What else do you do besides save cups and utensils? What else? Uh, at my condo, like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I save like $30 a month easily. Hmm. That's pretty disgusting. If you come over, I'll let you flush. I don't like to waste food. Are you gonna eat the food? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, perfect. But you can never have too much barbecue sauce. I was talking to a girl about this recently. It was like a thing on Twitter, I think years ago. They said, is it unmanly to take a to-go box? Oh yeah. Are you a soft boy if you take a to-go? I've taken to-go plenty of times. Yeah. Are you still talking to that girl? Yeah. Now why? I want to snack on this later, like... And then I asked the girl, she said, I actually didn't like dudes when they got a to-go box. <laughs> I think it's a subconscious sign that uh, even if you didn't finish, it's like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta conserve and save this. Whereas women want a guy that's like in low money. Oh, he still needs to eat this for another day? He can't just buy himself a new meal? Is that what they're thinking? Like subconsciously. I don't know, I thought it was fucking funny. What is the world coming to? I had a girl once, so I remember, it was all like I checked the meal, so I was like, dang, 94 bucks? They're like, oh, are you money short or something? Whoa! You keep like reading the numbers out loud. Do you wanna shut the fuck up? Do you wanna shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> pay for this? Pay for this shit? Can't read the bill out loud now, even if I'm paying for it. I can't take it to go box. Are you money short? Yeah, 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 you, you pay. You pay. <laughs> Would you like a to-go box? No. <laughs> I don't want a to-go box. For <laughs> oh, boys. I ain't eating all this. I don't want to eat this tomorrow. Now scram. Give me the check. Damn. I hate when a waiter be like, you sure you don't want to take it to go? No, I said no. <laughs> oh, don't forget your to-go yeah. Why you got the Jeremy, Jeremy Scott? Scott? You got the Jeremy Scott leopard. <laughs> the random ass Why? guy. You know he got that from the thrift store. Yeah. He's Loki was stepping in this outfit. Jeremy Scott's. Oh shit. <laughs> All from the cream. Hydraulics, Jeremy Scott's. He kind of friends. Greg is a very sweet guy, funny. He's a little cheap, but nice guy overall. Thank you for taking me out. I want a girl like me for me. Well, I had a lot of fun tonight. Would you want to go out again sometime? Yeah, I did. I had a good time. Thank you. Even though he's a little cheap, I could look past that, and definitely, he's a really sweet guy, so I would definitely go out with Greg again. Okay, a really sweet little cheap guy. kiss. She just said all of two seconds ago, it's too much for me. Just too extreme for me, I would never do it. That sounds so fake, like TLC, you need a happy ending. That interaction at the end sounded so fake. At the end of the day, they're getting paid, and then they're just going back home. TLC, any woman would see this and be like, I'm leaving midway through the day. This is weird and creepy, you're scaring me. Pretty extreme. Yeah. I still like utensils from restaurants. Chipotle, I'll take like 50 forks. And like the Wawa. 
while I was at the gas station, be having like good hot sauce, and I got like a lot of the packets. Mm -hmm. Or Chick Fil A. Yeah, I'll keep some of the Chick Fil A sauces. That's valid. No weird cups, though. You have to spend a lot of money on the soap. Then if you hand wash all of them, that's a lot of soap. <laughs> so it took me fifty bucks at the end of the year. Sir, like, just make more money. That's why it's different than the couponers, because like he was trying to like not spend make a lot, money. and then the couponers are trying to save. They're trying to save money or sell things they have or whatever. I guess Maybe. levels to this shit. That was interesting. Bye. Save your money.